Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, friends connecting from across the world. I am Marina Ponti, the director of the United Nations Action Campaign for the Sustainable Development Goals. And welcome to this turning point dialogue leading up to our music activation on 17 July, Play Fair for People and the Planet. Today, we will be discussing why we are at a turning point and what role both music and the music sector can play to reimagine and reshape a more just and sustainable future for everyone. Music has always been a platform, an anthem to inspire change and promote values. Music is also what kept us going during the pandemic and the many lockdowns. Music is probably the cultural sector with the largest audience. And it is also universal language that can unite and connect people across regions and generations. However, we also believe that the music sector, just as any other sector in our society, can and should transform its business model to promote greater sustainability and social justice. This is why we're organizing Playfair, and this is why I'm so delighted to be joined today by two incredible change makers from the music industry who believe in the power of music to turn it around for people and the planet. Let me welcome artist, singer, songwriter, and activist, and ambassador of Keychain, one of the partners of Playfair, Samsaya and creative director of Trees Production, Ruggiero Pietromarchi, also known for designing creative and sustainable music festival across Italy. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Marina. Thank you. So, Samsaya, uh, from your perspective of being both an artist and an activist working in the music industry, what do you think is the most urgent shift that is needed in the music sector as we emerge from the pandemic? So I believe that it's a real commitment that is needed from leaders of organizations, festivals, companies in the music industry, committing to create change and seeing it through by including diversity, equality, and equity into their core strategy. And there are many steps to this, and I believe that signing the Key Change Pledge should be one of them. Key Change is an international campaign and network for gender equality, which aims to diversify the current music industry to create a more sustainable and strong community for all genders. Uh, with the Key Change Pledge, you will have an effective tool and tailored support to outline your ambition. Because as we know, every organization is unique and their targets needs to be defined and owned by the organization themselves. And on some really good news, 500 music organizations have committed so far already. Fantastic, Samsaya. I think you, you, you touch upon very important points, gender equality on stage, diversity, and also promoting you know, social justice. And, and it's amazing that we think the music in industry, there is such a commitment. You mentioned the word commitment to really change from within. Now, let me turn to Ruggiero. Um, you are also no stranger at putting sustainability at the heart of events. So I will ask to ask you the, the same question. What do you think is the most critical shift in this moment? Thank you, Marina. I believe this pandemic has given us a different perception of the public institutions. And what I personally believe is that we need to get more engaged with things. COVID has shown us once again, the fragility of the ecosystem and the power of institutions that in a few weeks have managed to do lockdowns worldwide. On this level, I feel engaged and responsible that this same ability will be devoted for a planet's stability. A clear example of this for us has been the plantation program at Terraforma Festival. That was our reaction after the first pandemic wave in June 2020 when we planted about 100 trees together with our team and our partners at Villa Conati. 
Wow, I think it, it, it's so inspiring to see how, you know, music sustainability, you know, can, can really reinforce each other. And, and I believe that planting tree uh, is such a powerful and inspiring message and action for, for everyone. So now uh, we, I mean, you are really change maker and activist and, and there are so many people connected, you know, from home who are, you know, who love music because this is a, a music activation. So uh, are there any call to action that you can suggest people, you know, to take, uh, to, to move towards the transformation? Samsaya, you can. Uh Abs uh, thank you, Marina. Absolutely. Uh, as an individual, whether you are making music or you are uh, enjoying music, you can make a difference. You should visit the keychange.eu website and find actions you can commit to. An example of an ex action is actually like balancing what you listen to uh, by prioritizing the playlist um, and sharing it with your friends, uh, making sure it's a gender balanced playlist. You can also choose to attend festivals that have signed the Key Change Pledge and recommending it to everyone you know to join in. Fantastic. I really like the idea of, of playlists which are, you know, gender, uh, which promote gender equality and, and diversity. And, and this is very important. I mean, we at the Action Campaign know it well. We, we always do for any events uh, where we ensure, you know, full diversity, you know, gender, but also geographical di diversity. And also, I believe in, in, in the music sector, also geographical diversity is an issue that, that requires attention. But now let, let me turn to Ruggiero. You know, what would be a call to action for the people listening today? Um, at this very moment, I believe that planting trees, uh, like I mentioned before, is the most practical and the strongest action we can do, mm -hmm. also on an individual and on a collective level. I take this from a recent conversation with Professor Stefano Mancuso. It might seem naive to someone, as it's a totally different approach for many high-tech solutions provided to this uh, call to action, but it's effective and to me also quite romantic, which is something I don't really underestimate in my actions. Fantastic. <laughs> So I, I really think, you know, planting trees and, and wherever possible a tree or maybe a smaller plant or wherever, you know, it's not possible a, a tree, I think is something very tangible that, that people can, can do. And, and these will send a very strong signal, you know, to everyone. And, uh, you know, now, you know, you're both activists, the change maker, and, uh, and, and, I'm, and I'm sure that, that the people uh, listening to us uh, who want to be part of the transformation, they, they want to also understand what inspired you to become who you are. So I don't know whether it was a piece of music, it was a person, it was a story, it was a song, uh, or on a an experience. So Samsaya, what inspire you to become an agent for change? Well, I believe that every thought, I believe that every thought is a, actually a creation. And with that, I think every moment is uh, something that inspires us. So right now, I'm very inspired by this book by Lavlin Rielbrenna. It's uh, the book, uh, The Parable of the Dog and the Peacock. It's about leading organizations, how they create unity and inclusion in uh, culture diversity. So it's a powerful tool and uh, a much needed collaboration uh, right now. Yes. Fantastic. I mean, I like the fact that we can be inspired in every moment. And, and I really like what you mentioned about the co-creation, which I think particularly now after the pandemic, there has been a, a greater understanding of the need to recreate and reimagine together. So now back to you, Ruggiero, what inspire you? The first uh, inspiration that comes to my mind is the, um, is the album that is in Disintegration Loops by avant-garde composer William Basinski, which is one of the most powerful manifestations of the inevitable cycle of life. This might be quite a contemplative experience, while to inspire an action, 
what we just mentioned, I'd like to suggest Lorenzo Senni's latest masterpiece, Scacco Matto. Fantastic, thank you. I'm, I'm sure that now the, the, the people listening will be Googling and, and, and looking for the, for, for the book and the song and that they will be you know, really following you know, your lead. I think that our time is, is coming to an end. Thank you again for, for this insightful conversation and maybe the last call to action for the people watching at home, please uh, join the, the live broadcast on the 17th of July, play fair for people and the planet. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.